Hello folks, my name is Mark Wilson and I'm the founder of AccuModel, where we inspire confidence in hydraulic modeling. This is another tutorial in a series on how to use EPANet. This tutorial will focus on some tips in editing elements in the model. So the first thing I'm going to show is how do we insert a junction into an existing pipe. So I'm going to click here on a junction and some commercial software packages will allow you to just go ahead and insert a node into a link. Unfortunately, EPANet doesn't allow that to happen. You can see I inserted the junction. It looks like it's splitting the pipe, but it's not. The new node ID is junction 9. You can see if we double click on the pipe, we're still connected to 5 and 6. So one way we can do this is just go ahead and insert that junction and let's go ahead and decide where we want it to connect from and to. Let's, let's go with 5 to 9. So we'll just change this here and you see that provides a little bit of a problem because we've now got some extra nodes in there that we've got to clean up. And we can click on our our select vertex tool and we can delete these some of these um, vertices and drag them around and there we go now we just need to draw another link in and then we just need to select it and just make sure it has the correct properties. Once we've created a new object or split a pipe, so to speak, we can transfer the properties of one element to another. So for example, we just split this pipe. We can copy the attributes by right click, copy, then we select the new pipe, right click, paste. That will transfer the properties to the new pipe. Another thing to show is if we select a link and right click it, we can also reverse that. So that's important for links that are control valves, for pipes that are check valves, and obviously pumps, we would need the direction of those to be correct. So for example, if we were to draw this one from node two to node one, that would be incorrect in this situation and we could reverse that just by right clicking on the link and clicking reverse. The next thing I wanted to show was some group editing. So under the edit menu, we have a group edit option, but some things have to be selected first. So we can select by a region. You can get to it under this menu where you can select this button out here in the edit toolbar. So what this will do is it'll let us draw a little region on the map. And then when we right click, it completes that region. Now, one thing to note, some commercial packages and packages like AutoCAD allow you to select whether the selection mode has to be all inclusive or whether you can use a crossing of so a window or crossing. EPANet is a window selection method. So that means the only things that will be selected are those that completely lie within this boundary. So if we're looking at editing pipes, we'll only have four selected here. So if we go back to edit, group edit, we can select which type of element we want to edit. We can even put a query in here by using this with statement and setting there's some simple query language in here like you could do diameter equal to 12 and it would only edit those we're gonna, i'm going to turn that off and so what we're going to do is replace the roughness with i'm just going to use 101.11 to signify the flag that i've edited this so let's go click ok four pipes those that are completely within the box are updated and we can test that out by just looking at here yeah sure they got edited okay another one to point out real quick is you know you can use the select all you can see the dashed box around the whole window 
Again, go into group edit, same thing. That'll just select everything in the model. Another aspect of editing elements that may not be readily apparent is how to insert more than just one type of demand into the model. So if we open up the properties here of a junction, we can see that this demand, we don't have any base demand here, we can add, let's say 15 GPM. We can use demand pattern one, and we see that so far there's only one demand category, but if we click on this ellipsis button, we see, yes, indeed, that's base demand of 15, time pattern, or multiplier pattern of pattern number one, and we can give it a category name like residential. We can add more demands in here, 45. I don't have pattern number two. We'll just call this one IND for industrial. And maybe 56 GPM. And maybe 10. We'll call it M1. By family. Okay, so that's four different demand categories, and we just put those right in there. Last thing to show is probably pretty obvious, but I'm going to show it anyway. If we want to delete a pipe, let me just create. A new junction. Remember, you always have to create the nodes first and then the links. But what if we decide, oh, oops, I didn't really want that. So we can right click, delete, or we can click on it and click the delete button over here. Two ways to do it. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and watch the whole playlist of tutorials. And if there's anything that we can do to help you out in your modeling efforts, we'd love to talk with you. Good luck in your modeling.